Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. I want to show you something from John chapter 10, and John chapter 10 will be your homework for those listening to this video, uh, that shows what an open door looks like. What are three, at least three things that we look for when God opens a door? In any given situation, what are those three things? Let's go to John chapter 10, verse 9. Jesus is saying, I am the gate. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come in and out and find pasture. So there's three things here that describe an open door. We see in the book of Revelation where God opens doors that no man can shut and shuts doors that no man can open. But this study is going to be, how do we know when the door has opened? The first thing is, he will be saved. I am the gate. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. So it talks about relationship. Any open door from God always involves the Lord God. You never go through a door without him. Ever. Not one door. You think an opportunity is presented to you most recently listening to this video. Has, the, has your relationship with God been factored into that opportunity? That's the first thing. The second thing, it maintains three things it maintains. The first thing it maintains is your relationship with God. It doesn't cause you to go make a decision without him. And, uh, you go to him and ask his permission. The second thing is, it maintains freedom. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The second thing, and will come in and go out. Not necessarily going in, as the analogy put here in John chapter 10, and just, you know, being kept in a particular area and not have the freedom to come and go. <clears throat> That's not of God. If you're involved with different ministries that are compelling you to stay, to be dedicated to them, you need to watch out for that. That's not freedom. So we see the first one is to maintain our, our relationship with him. No decision, no open door, or what we think an open door looks like will ever compromise our relationship with God. It will maintain it. It will strengthen it. It will cause us to draw closer to God in word, in prayer, seeking his will, uh, pleasing him by trusting him. Second thing is, it has the atmosphere of freedom. You come in and you also go out. Do you have the, once you make that decision, do you have the ability to go into it and come out of it? Or do you feel like you're stuck? <clears throat> the third thing is, and find pasture, which is provision. So God maintains he has your relationship with him. He maintains the freedom that you have with him, the freedom in Christ, to do his will. And he also maintains the provision that you need to have as you walk with him. Everybody's uh, relationship is going to be different and look different how, on how God actually maintains the freedom and the provision. But everybody's relationship with God is the same, meaning God leads and we follow. Hope that helps. God bless you guys.